Back in October of 2022, Quora for Business announced video ads. Now, when this first came out, you had to talk to a Quora rep in order to have video ads within your account. Well, we checked all of our accounts within the past couple weeks, and they all have access to video ads. So in this video, we will run through a complete campaign setup and how you can use video ads and some best practices as well as the specs needed in order to get them up and running. Before I run through a campaign setup in Quora ads, I first want to talk about the spec requirements to run video ads on Quora. Before I run video ads in any paid media platform, it's probably important to make sure that I have a video I can actually use. The only acceptable file formats are MOVs and MP4s. For audio format, it is the advanced audio coding. This is pretty standard, so probably not something you need to worry about. Aspect ratio needs to be 16 to 9. Resolution should be 1280 by 720 pixels. And while captions are recommended, they're not a requirement. Now for the technical specs, your video length cannot be shorter than six seconds, but also cannot be longer than 30 seconds. Save your longer demo style videos for YouTube. File size must be 70 megabytes or less. Minimum width and height is 640 by 360 pixels. And your maximum width and height is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate needs to be 30 frames per second or less. And there's the tech requirement for your codec. I don't really have to worry about this type of data compression, so not something I'm too familiar with. But if you are, there it is. Now, if you're looking for specs with the actual ad format, we're going to get into that in the campaign creation. So that being said, let's hop into Quora ads and set up a campaign using video ads. Once you are in Quora ads, there's a few ways we can create new campaigns. You can probably see both of the blue buttons on the screen. So let's go down, create a new campaign. A great feature about Quora's video ads is that they are available for every single campaign objective. Whether you're looking to get conversions or leads, drive traffic to your website, get app installs, or just get brand awareness, you can use a video to try to meet your objective and your campaign goals. But since we're talking about videos, I'm going to stick with video views. Go ahead, change the name of your campaign. You'll have to enter a daily budget in order to go to the next step. You can add a lifetime budget if you want to, add a start and end date if you want to, but for now I just want to keep on moving. Next, you can go ahead and change the name of the ad set. But then the next option will be your location targeting. Before I enter anything in, it says right there what we could do. You can add in countries, which is what I will do, but you can also choose states, cities, zip codes, postal codes, whatever you call it, as well as DMA regions. If you need to exclude any locations, you can do so right before the included locations. You're going to have the same options as the locations that you would include. Now here's where we get to one of the unique parts about Quora. I already have a video going over the Quora targeting options. You could check out that video here. That will be a much more in-depth video. But for the sake of this one, I'm just going to bounce around briefly. I'm first going to start off with audience targeting. With the Quora Pixel, you can do basic URL retargeting. Very easy to do if you have the pixel on every page of your website. But you can also upload your customer list to do customer or contact list targeting. And after you've built up enough root audiences, you do have the ability to create lookalike from those root audiences. Could be appealing to you. But then if you want to expand reach a little bit, I recommend starting with contextual targeting. And then that was the default option that we first saw. Contextual targeting on Quora targets users while they're on that page at that moment. If you're still new to Quora, think of it as a Q&A site. People ask questions. All those questions are bucketed under specific topics. One thing about video ads for Quora is that they do not appear as of right now on question pages. So first, maybe stick with topics. So if I go ahead and enter in a topic, as of right now, my ads can appear on any question that falls underneath the pay-per-click topic in the United States on all browsers and devices. So my potential weekly impressions based upon my current bid is 40 to 50K. If I add in another topic, potential weekly impressions didn't change too much. So it could be a lower volume. With keywords, if I go ahead and just type in PPC, this type of targeting will go after users if this keyword is on any answers that contain the keyword. It doesn't even have to fall in a very specific topic. And outside of marketing, the PPC acronym is used in other industries. So this might not be the best route to go. But if you have very specific keywords, yes, you can add multiple words per keywords. It could help you expand your reach. But whether you choose keywords or topics for your video ads, remember, these are people who are on those questions at that very moment. So the intent is going to be deeper. Deeper than what? Good question. Deeper than behavioral targeting. Because behavioral targeting has the same options as contextual targeting. 
but behavioral targeting is if people have interacted with those questions and answers at some point in the past. And you can change that date range to be up to 30 days in the past. So if I use interests, you see it's the same topic options, but now look at the weekly impressions. We went from 40 to 50K to over 6 million because these are people not in the moment. It's anyone who's interacted with those questions or topics, possibly within the past month. This means someone could have looked at a pay-per-click question, and now they're looking up questions about the vacation they're gonna take. Our video ad can show in front of those users on the vacation page because they've shown interest in pay-per-click in the past. The intent isn't as focused, but it's a good way for you to try to expand reach with some relevancy based upon previous behavior. The same thing will apply with keyword history and for other ad formats, question history. And then the final primary targeting option is broad targeting. Pretty much giving Quora full reign based upon their machine learning capabilities. And it's something that we do not recommend unless you're getting a good amount of consistent conversions or leads generated from Quora. It needs some good signals to go off of. So in this case, I'm just gonna stick with contextual targeting, stick with topics, and then I'll keep going down to additional targeting. Video ads can appear on both desktop and mobile devices, but you do have the option to choose specific mobile devices as well as specific browsers. For many of our clients that have a decent budget on Quora, I tend to split out campaigns by devices purely because we see the bids and the performance are drastically different between the two devices. If your budget is small, it's okay to leave it together, but you can always break it out later on. Next, you'll have gender. If you wanna exclude any questions or any audiences that you created from your retargeting pixels or customer list, that's where you would choose it. Next, there's placements. If I click on choose specific placements, I'm going to highlight over this information box, but it's going to go away pretty soon. So if you have app install, video views, or lead gen campaign objectives, your ads will not appear on digest emails. No matter what, even if you choose a different campaign objective that can appear on digest emails, video ads will never appear on digest emails, no matter what campaign objective you have selected. So to maximize my reach, I'll just stick with all placements. And then we can look at our ad delivery. By default, it's gonna be optimized for video views. Remember, that was the campaign objective I did select in the beginning. You can choose a CPM model if you want to. Ad delivery is gonna be different for the other campaign objectives. So I understand this section of the demo isn't gonna be the same depending on which campaign you're trying to create. So I'll just enter an amount right now. In other campaign objectives, Quora can show you the estimated bid range that other accounts with similar targeting options are using to kind of get an idea of where you stand. But for the ad group setup, that's pretty much it. Let's go to our ad creation. Change your ad name if you want to. Since we selected video views as our objective, of course, that's the only format available. Other campaign objectives will show you a variety of different ad formats. If we scroll down to creative, there you have the business name. Most likely it's gonna pull in what you set up within your account, but you can change it to be something different. Next, you get a headline sentence. That's the bold sentence within your ad preview. I'm gonna go up and grab something to paste it in, and I'm purposely gonna paste in something I'm not supposed to do. This headline will get rejected for a couple reasons. First, you cannot use title case or camel case, meaning every word is capitalized. Very common to do in the paid media world with our headlines. Besides that, we're already getting yelled at. We didn't include any punctuation with our headline. So let me go in and add a period, and then I'm also going to go and change my headline sentence to be sentence case, just like we see in the body text below. Quora's rules are different than what you typically may do on Google and Facebook. Quora is a very conversational platform, so they want full sentences. They want the ads to really blend in with the platform so it's not as distractive. One thing that we've seen that works really well with ads is making your headline a question. I could write something more appealing, but you pretty much get the point. If it is a Q&A site, Having my ad blend in a little bit more makes it seem more native, makes it seem more natural. And for many of our clients, we've seen better results with this type of headline, but it's something that you're just gonna have to test. So with the headline, you get 65 characters max, and yes, your punctuation at the end is part of the 65 characters. Same thing with your description. You must do sentence case, you must include punctuation, but for your description, you get 105 characters. So there I just pasted in simple body text, choose your call to action, if I scroll down a little bit, I'm gonna choose watch more. I'm promoting video here, but depending on what your campaign objective is, if you're sending people to the website, you want them to sign up for lead gen ads, choose whichever one makes sense for you. And next, upload your video file. Didn't take too long to process, but if you click play, I have it muted right now, but you can get a preview 
of what your video ad will look like on Quora. Right now, it's in the desktop view. If we switch to mobile, it doesn't look too different, but you pretty much get the point. So I'm gonna pause this, and then you can keep on moving. Even though our goal is video views, for our objective, we can still add a landing page URL. It's gonna be different for the campaign objective that you've selected. App installs will be clearly install the app. Lead gen will pop up your lead forms. Traffic and conversions will also send to the website. And if you need any third party tracking for your URLs, that's where you would enter it. But for now, we can click continue. We'll get a preview of your ad. I can edit anything I don't like, but if everything looks good, we can complete the order. So now we're sent to the main campaign view. If you click on the campaign, click on the ad set. I know I called it ad group earlier in the video. There's the one video ad that we had. You can create other variants. So you can test different headlines, different videos, maybe different URLs, do whatever you think is best for the campaign. It was different for this campaign objective because we can only use video ads. But for other campaign objectives like traffic or conversions, you can mix video ads with single image ads and regular text ads to see which one might work best for your target audience. The last thing I wanna show you after your video ads go live is going to be the columns that you can use to review performance for your video ads. So let me jump into another tab I already have ready. Okay, coming down here, the columns I have on the screen and that we're gonna look at are purely just the video specific columns. But you can add a ton more options. The columns logo is this symbol, like an audio switchboard in a studio. You see there's overall summary columns. This is where you can add your clicks, click the rate, spend. You can look at engagement. There's your lead gen stats. If I skip over the video stuff, all of your conversion, app install, add to cart and e-commerce, as well as custom conversions you can create. But since we're talking about videos here, I only wanna go over the video columns. So first will be video views. This is the number of times your video was played for two continuous seconds or more. Besides the two continuous seconds, a video view must also meet at least one of these requirements. The first one is at least 50% of the video was on the screen or if the video was played for two continuous seconds and it was unmuted, doesn't have to be visible, consider this like an audio ad. So that'll be for video views. View rate, the number of views divided by impressions, pretty straightforward. Your cost per view, your total ad spend, divided by the number of video views you get. Then you'll get the numbers of how many times people watch your video to the 25% mark, 50% mark, 75% mark, or they watch the entire video. Completed view rate, which is a percentage, is the number of completed views, people who watched 100% divided by the total number of views. Then you get cost per completed view. I'm gonna scroll over a little bit. Your average playtime in seconds, total playtime in seconds. How many times people are muting the ad? Maybe they just find it annoying. So something to keep in mind if you really wanna do some video optimization. And then unmutes, people who are engaged with your videos and want to hear more about what you're promoting. The video columns can really help you find out how people are engaging with your video. As we already said, you can add in a lot of your conversion focused columns to really see if they're adding additional worth and if are people eventually converting. And as of right now, that is pretty much all you can do with Quora video ads. While Quora may not have the biggest volume for a paid media platform, the quality of conversions we typically see is higher. So if you have a good video to use, test it out on a platform where you can get very specific with your targeting. If you have any questions on how Quora video ads can work, please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.